Praise, praise, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, thank you, Lord, indeed. Salamat, Lord. Hallelujah. Because, Lord, as we wake up in the morning, as we go out through the day, hallelujah, we have you, Lord. You're all we need, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kompleto kami sa iyo, Panginoon. When we have Jesus, we are complete. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, O oh God, and this tonight, Lord, speak to us. Let your word, O oh God, open our hearts, God, and our minds, Lord, as we study your word tonight. Speak to us, Lord. Holy Spirit, anoint the speaker of your word and the hearers of your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your word alone be proclaimed tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We will be reading from Mark chapter 10, verse 35, verses 35 to 45. Hallelujah. Um, before I read, hallelujah, uh, good news po, kasi we're going to be celebrating our 25th anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, October, uh, ano nga ba yun? Sunday na yun? 27? 27. Hallelujah. And uh, we invite everyone, invite your friends, loved ones, everybody. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, to celebrate with us. That will be a Sunday. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And uh, Mark 10.35, it says, Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, We want you to do for us whatever we ask. It's a very bold, right? <laughs> we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you, he asked. They replied, Let one of us sit at your right hand and the other hand and the other at your left in your glory. Wow. You don't know what you're asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? This 39 says, we can, they answered. Wow, very bold, right? <laughs> Jesus said to them, you will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with you. Ba- baptized with but to sit at my right hand or left is not for me to grant. Those places belong to those for whom they had been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant with James and John. Oh, jealousy all over, right? Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who regarded as rulers for the genta of the Gentiles lord it over them. And their high officials exercise authority over them? Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Hallelujah. The title of God's message for us tonight is The Making of a Great Man or Woman. The Making of a Great Man or Woman. Ang pamagat ko sana is The Making of a Megastar. <laughs> you, will, you, will, you will see it later on. Hopefully, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Um. Before James and John actually asked Jesus of very boldly, you know, asking Jesus, I want to sit on the highest, you know, pinakamataas, highest office in your kingdom, Lord. Uh, before that, Jesus was actually telling them as they were uh, going up to Jerusalem, uh, he took the twelve aside. 
and told them, and it's in verse 32, no? They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way, and the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. You know, the, the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. Again, he took the twelve aside and told them what was going to happen to him. We are going up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be betrayed. He's talking about himself. To the chief priests and to the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him and spit on him, flog him and kill him. Three days later, he will rise. And that's where our text began. Then James and John, sons of Zebedee, they were asking, right? And notice, brothers and sisters in the Lord, that the disciples were amazed of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done. They've been with Jesus for probably three and a half years now. This is about two to three weeks, two, two weeks, I believe, the most, the last two weeks of Jesus. And um, he was telling them that, he, we noticed that they, they Jesus put, Call them aside, right? And the, the the disciples were amazed, but the people who followed Jesus were afraid. So there are two reactions, right? They were amazed because they, prob- it's it's easy to 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 to, uh, to decipher that because they were with Jesus for three and a half years. They saw him uh, open the eyes of the blind, uh, to heal uh, the lame. Right, he walked on water. That was uh, when, when Jesus walked on water. That was uh, uh, just the the twelve disciples, right? They were in the boat, and they saw Jesus fed four thousand and then five thousand. You'll be amazed too, right? And so I'm beginning to 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 relate with the James and John because wow. Our king is awesome. Imagine that. We can defeat all enemy if we have a king like this. Right? Imagine if he could walk to water, uh, on water. What's hard for him? Well, it's not, nothing hard for him to do, right? And so, uh, but the people, I, I believe the people saw something else. You know, when you are in a circle, you see only a little bit, but you're in a, uh, in a distance, you see a little bit more. Because they saw that Jesus and the authorities are having, at this moment, the, the, the animosity against Jesus is, is really uh, very high. They are really one, they're looking for everything to. Um, accuse Jesus to kill him. Amen? And so Jesus took them aside and told them, I will be I, I will be betrayed, condemned to death, mocked, spit upon, flogged, and be killed, and then three days later will rise again. And probably James and John will uh, I don't know, did, did they, they? They probably didn't hear that right. Because, <laughs> right? Because they ask, Lord, can I sit in your right? Can I sit in your left? Right? They were looking, they were anticipating for, uh, at this, probably at this moment, brothers and sisters of the Lord, they're still anticipating for a political king. Not, not the savior of the world. Right? I want to sit at the highest. It's kind of like, Lord, can I be the secretary of state? Right? Right? They're probably thinking about that. And he's going to be the, the the defense minister. I'm the vice president, vice CEO. <laughs> Some kind of like, uh, they wanted the, the office. Right? What, what's that? The title. And in fact, brothers and sisters of the Lord, you can, you can see this. 
in, in our time, right? People wanting to have the power. And the sad part is even, it's even going in the church. People want to have the title. Right? And I, I heard a story from one of the sister who was working in a, in a bookstore. And they want to be called the title first before the name. Right? Just imagine that, right? Um, it's, the, it's the natural, we can say that it's the natural tendency of the flesh. Right? Do you want, we want the higher office. Are, are, amen? <laughs> they want to have a special place. They want to have, uh, I want to have the corner office, sumbaga, in the kingdom of God. And such a bold question, isn't it? it? It also gives us the hint that James and John has an inflated view of themselves. Right? Because to ask that, they have they, they think, Lord, I am I am better than the the eleven or the you know the ten. We should be on that, you know. <laughs> right? And they want the highest office. They want they want to they want to, to get the the, the best um, position. They I don't know if they ever heard what Jesus said that he will be mocked, he will be killed, he will be crucified, and he will die. But rise again. Right? And, and Jesus said, you don't know what you're talking about. Are you going to be... Do you think you can... You can, uh, you, can you drink the cup? Or be baptized with the baptism? I'm baptized with. The word baptized here, in a sense, is kind of like speaking of being overwhelmed by, this, by, by, by danger, by pain. By sorrow, by because that's what our, the, that's what the Lord did for us. He was overcome with so much pain and sorrow and the loneliness. Amen. And uh, oftentimes, when that word is is being used, it's it's called it's it's to being immersed on that pain. And uh, Psalm sixty nine two said. I sink in the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. The word engulf there, being baptized by the flood of suffering. Right? And so uh, Jesus said, can, Do you think you can handle what, what I'm going to? And you can, you can really see also, the, the, they really have this. Very inflated. The flesh is really blind to the, to the things of the spirit. Amen? Because they said, we can. Right? We can. Like Peter. Even if you die, Lord, I will die with you. Right? We can do it. Right? It's easy to say, right? <laughs> we can. But Jesus said, well, eventually you will. Amen. Because that's what happened with uh, the um, the disciples after the Holy Spirit, after the resurrection, and after the Lord gave His Holy Spirit in Acts chapter two. Tongues of fire, you know, uh, was with each one what was with each one of them, and we also know that James, this James, is actually the first martyred um, disciple. He was beheaded by, uh, in Acts 12, uh, King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. In verse 1. In verse 2, he had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. When he saw that this was this met with approval among the Jews. He proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the festival of unleavened bread. So remember that in, in Acts chapter 12, Peter was supposed to be next. Amen? But because of the prayer, oh, hallelujah. Thank you that, 
How many are grateful that we can call the Lord anytime, anywhere? Amen. And he answers. Amen. Hallelujah. And what a testimony of Pastor Alex from uh, last week. I was there. And I was also I was over, overwhelmed because I know it. If, if he's, he's not going to come to the, the, to the, if he is not able to go to the, the, the convention, he, he would probably, I think that's what he's thinking at that time. Pastor, do you go alone? <laughs> and I'm only, and I'm already planning also. I'm going to, I'm going to say, no, Pastor, I'm not going without you. <laughs> Amen. But when we ask the church to pray, it's amazing, brothers and sisters. The Lord, how quickly the Lord answered. I said, talaga si Clyde. <laughs> right? And he was fine before he even went to the gym two days, three days before that. He was, you know, you know, Clyde, he's always, you know, and then suddenly he gets sick. Wow. But we at that moment, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we can really I could really sense wow, what a what a great thing to have a family of God pray for you. Praying together. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Alex was texting me, he said, We need a backup. We need reinforcement. I think he said reinforcement. I don't remember anymore what he text and either reinforcement or a backup call everybody so I was like yes Lord I'm going to call everybody I'm not going alone <laughs> amen and as we prayed together and even before you, were, you saw the text the Lord texted you, texted you first right how amazing is that because the Lord texted you first Pastor Ray was led by the Lord to the, just pray for the team Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. By the way, let's go back to our text. <laughs> John and James were like, we can, we can, you know. Um, we can. Yes, uh, they forgot that the we there, the, it's not only James and John. When, when, when Jesus said, you will be baptized, that's because the, of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Hallelujah. They're probably thinking about, we can do it. No, but that we includes him. Hallelujah. Because he will, he will give his Holy Spirit to empower his, his disciples to do whatever they need to do. Hallelujah. And so... Uh, Jesus said, no, that's not the focus. That's not my focus. To, to whoever sit to right or the left on me, that's for the Father. Someone, he will prepare. Those are prepared for those. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And in verse 41, it says, When the ten heard of this, they become indignant. So I, I want to know what that's indignant. You know, I, I, my English is limited edition, uh, 2.0 or 1.0. <laughs> indignant means to be greatly afflicted. They were greatly displeased. Amen. So when, when somebody heard, when, when they heard that, um, James and John were asking Jesus about that. Like, Wow. For, for the Filipinos, we, we, we usually say, oh, the nerve, right? Oh, the nerve, asking the Lord about that? Who do you think they are, right? And the word indignant here, and imagine, brothers and sisters, these are 12 young men. You know, they were, they were indignant. The 10 were so indignant with the two I don't know what kind of eyes they're probably looking at the James and John. Right? The, the words, and 
especially when we are indignant. Imagine the words that will come out in their mouth also. Right? You have the nerve to ask the Lord that? Do you, who do you think you are? Right? And they were so afflicted, like, how about... It's actually, it's actually this, this is what happens when, when, when the flesh is at work, right? We, 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 we react. Especially when someone is being uh, elevated and then you're still like that. <laughs> you know, I'm still, still in, the, in the low, low. And somebody is putting, being... Putting, uh, being, being, uh, uh, ano don, na, na, na promote, right? And you begin to, right? And it's, it's the, the flesh talking. That, oof, what? Right? They want to sit at the right and the left. And they did not even say, can we sit? Like all of us, you know, six on the right and six on the left. Just of them only. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Oh, wow. And they were indignant. So what I, I, I'm, you know, brothers and sisters, Lord, it's so humbling because many times, whether you like it or not, whether you, you accept it or not, many times we have that. Right? Why did it why did this why did it say that to me? Didn't he know that I'm a pastor? <laughs> right? Or whatever. I'm a bishop or a pope, whatever, you know. <laughs> but I'm I'm so grateful that the Lord in his mercy did not, you know, rebuke them harshly. Guys, what are you talking about? I'm about to be crucified and you're talking about yourselves? But you know what Jesus said? They, Jesus called them together. Isn't we, this call is to call closer, right? To come here, come here. I'm going to say something to you. Amen? Hallelujah. They are called together to come close to Him. Oh, Lord, thank you that in, in, in the times of, of pride, you call us closer to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because, because the closer you are with Jesus, the better you know, the, the better you know who you are. Tama ba yung English ko na yun? Mas lalo mo nakikita ang sarili mo kung ano ka, kung lalapit ka sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Amen? That's why it's the, it's the best invitation is to come closer to Jesus Christ because the more we see Him, who He is, the more we are being exposed who we are. The more you see His glory, the more you see His perfection, the more you see His, His holiness, it, there's a sense of, wow, Lord, Hallelujah. Amen. So this and Jesus said to them, you know, alam nyo, you know, he's, he's, he's um, poking on their what they're talking about. What, you know that those who are those where we are 42. You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And their high officials exercise authority over them. Uh, you know, the, in the world system, the, the, the boss is higher, right? Someone in higher in authority looks down on uh, the subordinate. Isn't it? It is rare that the subordinate... It, I don't think it happens that the CEO will... Right? He's always on the top. The manager is always on the top. Right? The higher the, the authority in, in, in the system of the world is always looking down. The higher the authority, 
the higher the the high, mas mas mataas ang no <laughs> the higher the why the higher the chin <laughs> diba dit i am the boss <laughs> right and they they dominate that's actually the word there they domineer over their subject they dominate over uh, people who are under them that's how the world operates amen and uh, i i remember the the testimony of one of our sisters actually he was she was so distraught because he's seeing the church um, run like a business right like lord this is not the way the church should work there's only one master there's only one lord there's one authority it's your word you are not people not not what we think amen and the more and, and the, we see that today even popularity the more popular you are the more the more uh, the more sway you have even if you're what you're saying is wrong <laughs> isn't it we call it influence today right and many many in the uh, m- many in the internet they call themselves influencer the more the follower the more influence they have isn't it the more popular the more influence you have that's the that's this that's the that's the way of the world and the higher the achievement the higher the education or the more the 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 richer you are you have the more sway in your word but how many are grateful that is not about what how much money do you have how popular you are hallelujah the word of god stands the same yesterday today and forever amen you're poor you're rich whoever whatever education you have hallelujah what the what the word of god says stands forever and ever jesus said heaven and earth will pass away but my word will never pass away it will stand forever hallelujah it is set in heaven amen it is unchanging thank you lord for that hallelujah and so jesus said that's not in 40 verse 43 Jesus said that not, not so with you Amen In the world that's how they operate but not so with you Amen So we can look at the people on the right and the left no not so with us Amen not so with us That's not the way the Lord operates Hallelujah Amen that's not the way of the kingdom of god it's not it, it's totally oppo- opposite to the world hallelujah that's why paul said do not be conformed to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 43 it says not so with you instead whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. No, I was tempted to use the word mega the making of a mega star because <laughs> when I looked up that word verse 43 whoever wants to become great some translation prominent right the word great actually there in the greek is megas like oh this is why this is where we got the word mega mega star right sino bang mega star ang alam ko mega star sa pilipinas ever is sharon connect that's so old that's old old news right si pastor was old pa nora honor pa siya 
sino round doon? At least, mas bago condition yung Sharon Cunet. <laughs> Amen? Mega. Colossal. This, the, that's the word actually, you know? The word mega is synonym, synonymous to humongous. Cosmic. Colossal. So when Jesus was actually saying, you want to be so big? You want to be so big? You want, you want, to, have, you want to have that influence? Hallelujah. Amen. You want to have that uh, uh, ano ta, gravitas. Tama ba? Ayaw ko kung may word na gravita. So gravity. Right? You have to have that weight. Don't follow the world. You will never. Because all the mega stars, they're all dead. And not, not Some of them not dead. Right? But all of the mega stars are forgotten. Right? There are there are kids today who don't know who's the mega star during the time of uh, let's say 1940s. They don't know anymore. It's not even a hundred years. Hundred years na ba? Na wala pa no? Right? But you want to be big? Be big in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. And here is this one thing that you we, that the one thing that the Lord said. You want to be great? Be whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. You want to be humongous, large, great, mighty, exceedingly great, right? You be a be be a servant. Hallelujah. And the word servant there is the word diakonos. But that's where, that's where we get the word deacon. Right? To run errands. To, to, it's like an attendant. A waiter. Right? And when I looked at uh, the meaning of how it was used, uh, blue letter Bible, it actually included there a Christian teacher, and a pastor. Right? To, to, to serve. But somehow, the, we, the, parang, na, 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 anong tawag doon? Na mutated yung, the baliktad yung word. The misused. Right? The, the word servant becomes like when you say it like a servant, I'm a servant. I'm, I'm a, you say it with a, with a gravitas, like I'm a servant. But there's no humility, right? But, but the word itself is to run errands, to help, to, to what? Wow, Lord. And, and it says, Lord, it includes us. A teacher, a pastor. We are all called to minister. Because it also said, a minister. Whoever ministers is a servant. You, we want to be, you want to be great. Oh, Lord, we don't need to influence the world like what they're doing in Facebook and TikTok. You know, so many influencers are there. But Lord, this is the way where we are called the Lord, you want to be great? The Lord Jesus clearly gives the way for every man and a woman in the Lord. This is the making of a great man and a woman of God. Be a servant. And it, although it's not included in the text, right? But the word servant there, diba may kasama yung ano eh? May kasama na yung um, imp- parang imputed ba tawag doon? Parang Hindi siya sinabi, pero kasama siya. Implied. Thank you so much, Pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is already implied there that if you're a servant, you, that means you you humble. Right? You cannot be a servant and still have so much pride. Right? Oh, we went to a... We went to a to an expensive, I wanted to date my wife. I said, Han, 
can we try at least once? We go to an expensive restaurant. And when we get there, like, wow, it's really expensive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As, there's, no, there's no turning back. We're already there. And I promised her the date. So like, okay, let's, let's order. <laughs> right? And you're, if you're in an expensive restaurant, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, you have food there that you don't know. Like, what is this? <laughs> right? So we called the waiter and the waiter, and they're like, what do you want? So I said, what can you suggest? Because we don't know. Like, it sounds so foreign to us. Why? How come it is not English? <laughs> right? But then the waiter, instead of helping us, that's, that's supposed to be his work. And he, he smiled as if, like, we don't belong here. Oh, you know. He didn't help us. So I was like, okay, let's choose the not to expense it. <laughs> the something we know. Okay, steak. But you see, you see that? It, it doesn't work when you're working as a waiter and then you have so much pride. Right? And I was like, we, buti na lang di kami nakipag-away, no? We're paying for this. Come on. <laughs> right? But you see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, the Lord, when you are running errands, when you're helping, it's, it's, it's implied there that when you're a servant, you humble. Amen? The making of a great man is to be a servant. And that means humility. Hallelujah. <coughs> To, 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 to run errands, to be a deacon, to be, to be a teacher, a pastor. Lord, oh God, help, help us to really have that kind of uh, mentality. Amen. Hallelujah. To, 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 to serve. And not so with you. Sabi pa ni Lord, hindi bagay sa'yo. Amen. It doesn't look good on you. It's not for you. Amen. You are a Christian. You are you are you are serving in the Lord. It doesn't look good. It doesn't. It not, it's not that it doesn't look good. It's not for you. Amen. It's 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 not for you. Hallelujah. I want to It's not for you. It's it really doesn't fit. Hallelujah. Because if you want to be great, you want to be a mega, mega star. Oh, thank you, Lord. Be, be a servant. Humble yourself before the Lord. Hallelujah. And in verse 44, it says, And whoever wants to be first. So, to, to me, mega is already big. Right? Colossal. Uh, what else? Humongous, cosmic, right? But the, there's another one actually b- bigger than the mega. You want to be first? The word there is protos. And it's, it's in the superlative. You know, the foremost. The foremost, the highest in place. Kumbaga, the bestest, ba? sabi ni Pastor Ray last week. The bestest, the chiefest. Not cheapest, the chief, my F, right? The chief of all, first of all. You want to be the first of all? Jesus said, wow, Lord, that there's even a bigger than, bigger than a mega. He said, be a slave. The word used is now the, the lowest of the low. Not just a waiter. Now this one is a slave who gives himself Holy to, to the person's will. Amen? So, a slave actually doesn't own himself anymore. That, you want to be great in the eyes of God? Remove everything. Even your name. Right? Even your name. Take away all of that. 
for 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 it, it is it is giving up your rights your wow lord but you know what brothers and the lord when you humble like that the lord said you even you're even bigger than omega you will be first hallelujah and paul that's like paul used that word so many times he, he used that word in romans chapter 1 verse 1 Paul, a servant of Christ. That's the word, that's the word he used, dulos. He, titles also, he said, Paul, a servant of God. Amen? In Philippians, it's the same thing. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ. Hallelujah. But most of all, Jesus was also called dulos. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7, Who, being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used for his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. That's doulos, the same word. Being made in human likeness. He, the best example. That's why Jesus is the first. Amen? He is the foremost, he's the biggest, he's the chief. Hallelujah. Because he, when he came, he came to serve you and me. Wow. He became the doulos. Giving himself. Hallelujah. To serve. Uh, that's why when, when our pastor said, you know, you cannot, it, Jesus serves us more than we serve him. We can never outgive God. We can never outserve God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Jesus gave us the path to how to be a mega and the first. Humble yourself like of a servant. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Because you know what, brothers and sisters, pride. I for me, pride is the most ugly enemy. That's that's, that's my conviction. Pride is the most ugly enemy. Right? Because sometimes you do something good, but hindi pala, may pride pala. Behind it. Right? That's why the word doulos is to just to let go. Lord, help us to let go. Hallelujah. That's why the best, the best walk, the best, I think I, think I heard it before. The Christian, the best way how a Christian walk walk is through his knees, right? Bowing, kneeling before God, Lord, I need you every day. Just like the song said, in the morning when I rise, oh Lord, I need you. Amen. To walk in my knees, to to have the total dependency on you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said that the uh, that. Uh, those who are poor in spirit, those who actually see themselves as nothing. In what? what? What Matthew 5 verse 3 said, right? Blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. The poor in spirit there actually is really the, the, the yung pinaka, pinaka dukha. Dukha in English is the, the most um, a beggar. Who have nothing. Hallelujah. And if you really see, you want to see a beggar, a beggar in the Philippines is really a beggar. Kita mo payatot talaga. Almost doesn't eat in one day. Right? Hallelujah. That's why, brothers and sisters in the Lord, what an invitation by the Lord. Amen? I, I want You want to be big? You want to be mega? You want to be first? Humble yourself before Him. <coughs> Amen. First Peter five, verse five and six. It says, "In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourself to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another. Clothe yourselves with humility towards one another. God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. He gives grace to the humble." The word opposed there is actually, it's, it's like a military term. He's, he's your enemy. 
he he battles against you i was like wow lord that's why that's why pride is awful because when 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 you're in pride you, god opposes you you're an enemy he battles against you but when you humble yourself he gives you grace not only that he gives you grace humble your he said god opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble humble yourselves therefore under god's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time hallelujah how many are grateful for that lord hallelujah james 4 6 and 7 but he gives us more grace that is why the scripture says god opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God. Hallelujah. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You see, it's impossible to resist the devil unless we have to submit ourselves before God. We have to humble ourselves before God. Because pride, that's where the, I believe pride, I think, I think Satan rides in the pride. <laughs> that's why he wants to, to work. Amen. Hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, it says, In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And lastly, in verse 45, it says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom to many. The best example of humility, the best example how to live our lives is Jesus Christ. Amen? For even the Son of Man, He's the highest, He's the, he's the loftiest, He's the greatest, he's the, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the Creator. But when He came, He did not come to serve, to be served. Right? He, not, he did not come to be served, but to serve and gave His life as a ransom to many. Hallelujah. Lord, tonight, thank you, Lord, for... Lord, the, sim- the message is simple. But it's not easy to do. Amen. That's why, Lord, we come to our knees tonight. We come to you, Lord, because you alone. You alone can do that. You alone can change us. You alone can mold us. You alone, oh God, hallelujah, can transform us. That's why, oh God, we come to you and surrender tonight, Lord. Jesus, we humble before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us, Lord, to, to, to just walk, Lord, in our knees every day. Hallelujah. We need, you. we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Humble us. Humble us, O oh God. Hallelujah. Upang kami ay kagamit-gamit sa kaharian mo, Panginoon, so that, Lord, our lives, O God, will impact others, O oh God. Help us to walk in humility. Help us, Lord, that in our lives, O oh God, we will only carry, we will only bear the name of Christ, that Christ alone will be lifted up in everything we do. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. In Jesus' name, amen.